All right, look at these wake up temperatures here across the uh, country. It's pretty much coast to coast to coast that is well below seasonal. We can thank what's called a Siberian high pressure system. So uh, high pressure from Siberia and on the right side or the east side of it, we've got a strong northerly flow. And that is what has driven in these cold, cold temperatures right across the country down to uh, into the states as well, waking up to minus 31 this morning in Thunder Bay. And of course, these numbers are below seasonal right across the country and do not include the wind chill either. Uh, the wind chill and the extreme cold uh, warnings vary from locale to locale. So out in Alberta, that wind chill has to be minus 40 or colder as the criteria to issue these warnings. It's got to feel like minus 30 or colder down here in Toronto and minus 48 or colder into Quebec. So it depends on how hardy of a Canadian you are, I would say. Uh, we've got all of the GTA under that blue, which is the extreme cold warning because the wind chill going through tonight and into tomorrow morning will be very near to minus 30. The actual air temperature is in the minus teens right now. And of course, that wind chill already feeling like the minus 20s. In fact, Pete, the camera guy and I say every time we come out here, every 20 minutes for the last two hours, we feel that it is getting colder. And at a wind chill of minus 30 early tomorrow morning, that puts us into the third row, high risk for frostbite and exposed skin can freeze in 10 to 30 minutes. So uh, that is why it is so important for you to pay attention to that wind chill forecast. The cold air also driving in lake effect snow, snow squalls, especially through Grand Bend and Lambton Shores, where some of the heaviest snow is. We had an intense band coming in off of Lake Ontario that moved from Grimsby through to St. Catharines. It is heaviest in through Niagara Falls right now, but starting to taper off very shortly. Tomorrow, there it is. Lots of sunshine. Nothing much to talk about. It is, of course, the cold, but there will be no precipitation until this early Friday morning. Watch for some lake effect snow moving into the GTA during that drive into work. We may taper to flurries in the afternoon, but for the drive home, we'll get into another little round of snow. So uh, forecast snow amounts anywhere from two to five centimeters. New Year's Eve forecast. My goodness, this could be the coldest in 50 years as we head down to a low of minus 20 two and that is going to be early on January the 1st. So a couple of centimeters on Friday and a watching next Wednesday also for a potential snow day.